Hi there, I'm Robin, and today we'll talk about troubleshooting before fitting a new turbo. Troubleshooting of the engine crankcase ventilation. Here are common failures provoked by the malfunction of the crankcase ventilation. Turbo shaft seals leak oil. Turbo contaminated by oil. Oil present in the charge side of the system. Excessive oil consumption. Engine smoking, blue, gray. Rev increase on idling. Oil present in the exhaust side of the system. Veins of the variable mechanism sticking. Clogs and malfunctions of the exhaust treating devices, i.e. the catalytic converter, DPF filter. There are two issues that commonly relate with the ventilation system. The first problem is the excessive pressure that may occur in the crankcase. The second issue is the proper oil separation from the blow-by gases. Make sure neither of these problems are present before replacing the turbo. Here's a tip on how to easily measure if the crankcase pressure is right. To conduct the pressure measure, you can use a simple liquid gauge. You can buy it in a dedicated turbo diagnose set, or you can make your own. To make a DIY, you'll need the following. Two meters of a transparent tube, a couple of cable ties or clips, a piece of some sturdy cardboard or chipboard, some liquid, and a stencil that you can download and print from the link in the description. The stencil is a simple line chart with a vertically marked scale on top and bottom for every centimeter up to 10. Now this scale will tell us about the pressure present in the crankcase. Marks above five centimeters distance on both sides are red and indicate excessive pressure or vacuum values. You can also use a ruler and markers to make your own scale. However, downloading the stencil will be much easier. Fix the transparent tube to it so its one end starts on the top end of the cable, then put the tube back alongside the scale and fix it firmly to the back plate. Fill the tube in around one-fifth by a liquid, like windscreen washer, coolant, or tap water. Fill the plate firmly on the front of the vehicle and set up the water levels so they fit the scale on the zero point. Take out the engine oil bayonet and place the other end of the tube inside the port, sealing it properly. Start the engine and make sure it gets the operational temperature. Now you can observe the liquid levels movement inside the tube. What you should measure is the distance between the liquid levels in both lines. The liquid mass that is pushed down further from the tube and upstream the tube indicates the crankcase pressure. When the liquid mass moves backwards, this means a vacuum condition is present. One centimeter of distance between the levels reads as around one millibar or 0.015 PSI. Marginally excessive pressure when idling is normal. Getting the engine on higher revs rather than idling will normally cause the pressure ratio to reverse and the liquid to move up towards the engine indicating a negative pressure or vacuum. In a healthy engine, the negative pressure should not exceed minus five millibars or minus 0.07 PSI, and the positive pressure five millibars or 0.07 PSI respectively. Any excessive pressures outside the minus five or plus five range indicate some crankcase ventilation issues. It should be either cleaned or replaced. If the negative pressure is deeper than minus five millibars, the engine has some problems with breathing. Inspect the air intake filter and the air channeling ducts if free from clogs. If not fixed, in a longer term operation, the restrictions may cause the crankcase ventilation to clog completely and provoke some severe turbo and engine failures. Caution. When performing the test with a DIY liquid based gauge, make sure no liquid is being sucked into the engine. If you're eager to see more troubleshooting tips, don't miss out on the next videos in the series. I'm Robin. Thanks for letting me show you what's under the hood. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And if there's something specific that you want me to do a video on in the future, don't forget to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.